What's happening guys, OBF back here, back with another Vans review. And today I have the Takahayashi Buffalo Trail LX from the Vans Vault line. Colorway is leather nubuck pig suede simply taupe. These are size 13 and retail was 175. Comes in your latest season's Taka box here. So we got a couple different colors going on. On the face of the box, there's like this really dark chocolate brown with like this yellowish cream uh, detailing on the ring and the Vans Taka logo. Rest of the box is made up in like this matte silver finish. We got the same graphics we typically see with the Taka boxes. You got the feather graphic on the top here and then some of those little detailing uh, throughout the trim. Pretty cool box. So here we have the Buffalo Trails. Now this is definitely something a little bit different as you guys I'm sure could already tell. These are a pair of vans and uh, this is actually a retro of an older shoe. Back in the late 70s, early 80s I believe, vans released this line of athletic footwear that they called Serio. I think the model itself was also called the Serio, this particular runner style. They released all these athletic type shoes um, in anticipation for the summer LA games, the summer Olympics. And uh, I guess they didn't do as well as they uh, really wanted them to. They had all kinds of different shoes from like skydiving shoes, wrestling shoes, runners, basketball shoes, cheerleading shoes. They were kind of just trying to put their foot into um, every door that they could to really uh, get the, the brand out there because uh, BMX, skateboarding and surfing uh, were kind of showing a decline and people weren't really interested in uh, those types of shoes anymore. So this is why Vans created this serial line. It's definitely something a little bit different as you can tell the the Serial Runner, the shoe that they had, was actually a pretty good runner from what I hear. The, they had a magazine back in the day called uh, Runner's World. I don't know if it's still around or not, but uh, they rated one of the shoes, one of these Van Serial Runners, and it got five out of five stars. So I guess it actually is a pretty good running shoe, or at least it was back in the day, which is uh, pretty cool. And anyways, um, long story short, Takahashi actually brought these back for this pack here they actually re-released the shoe before i think on the japanese market um, but now we're seeing this u.s drop and uh this one being a little bit more i guess subtle and sophisticated with uh, the materials on the upper of the shoe so this particular colorway this simply taupe uh features like these i want to say they're more tan i mean it's a taupe color but it, it really does give off like a Probably more so of a tan look, especially in the light. Um, the upper of the shoe, just like the box says, features suede. So you got the suede on the toe cap here, going along the side and wrapping around the heel. Then you have the nubuck making up the toe box and the side panels of the shoe here. And then finally, we have the premium leather on the eye stay, the tongue. And then we have another texture of leather, another type of leather on the back heel, the top part, the mustache here, and then also down on this little cup piece on the bottom. Have some pretty thick stitching on there as well, and a white stitch or possibly an off-white. On the back, we have the embossed Vans logo on there. Of course, the Vault Vans logo. Comes with these taupe, I guess these are taupe. I don't even know what these colors are anymore because there's so many different colors they just look like natural to me so um anyways these laces that match the whole upper of the shoe and they're like a i guess like a roundish type lace a little bit different on the tongue here we got the taka feather tag here which is also embossed in there with pretty cool in the suede material underneath it the vans taka embossed there as well for the interior, we got a leather lining the back half of the shoe and lots of padding here in this, this heel piece. This thing is extra cushy. And then the rest of the shoe, pretty much from the middle down, is all lined in a canvas on the inside. We got our standard Taka leather back insole there with, of course, the flower logo, or not the flower, the feather logo once again. 
And that is in like, a, I guess like a really light leather color. Features these Vibram soles, the Vibram Ripple sole here, which is um, definitely something a little bit different as well uh, to really give it that true runner feel. This is in like a gum color. Stacked leather on the back heel, which looks like wood grain. Very tough stuff. And then of course we got the foam right there in the middle. Now, I'm not familiar with these types of shoes. I This is my first pair of runners ever. I'm not an Asics fan or a New Balance or anything like that. Um, so I honestly have no idea how to wear these, but this is definitely a sick looking shoe and definitely one that's gonna throw some people off uh, when you tell them that they're Vans. Extra laces that come with these are like a lighter color. I guess these are probably like uh, more of the tan than anything. These are more like a gray. Very dope shoe. There was also a couple other shoes to release in this season for the Takahashi line. There was a, a slip-on and a skate high. Uh, one of them was called Nomad, I think. Maybe both of them. I can't quite remember. But I was definitely feeling the slip-ons, not so much the skate highs. But these ones were definitely the star of this season, these Buffalo Trails. There's actually two other colorways of it. There's a major brown, which is kind of like a, almost like an olive-ish color. And then there was also a black color, which is pretty basic. I will have the major brown color coming in soon, so uh, be sure to stay tuned for a review on those. Anyways, these guys do fit true to size. These are very tough to find right now. I think they've sold out at, at most, most shops that got these. A lot of people, uh, they weren't too sure about them, so not a lot of shops got them. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the review, and be sure to stay tuned for the On Feet. So as I was uploading my video, I guess Vans went ahead and released these GR versions of these Serial Runner reissues, I guess. They're calling these the OG Runner. Available in five different colorways. You guys can find these on the Vans website. I will leave a link in the description below if you guys want to pick these up. Super random, but also at the same time pretty cool. Especially these brown ones, I'm feeling these. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the review.